Well, hello everybody. It's just me and my tea again. And as you can probably tell by my background and by the title of this video, it is time for some swatching and time to switch into light mode. Yes, it is the brand new collection from the one, the only, Hollow Taco. Of course, thank you, Christine, our Hollow Queen, for making such fabulous nail polishes. Yes, it is the light mode collect limited edition collection box. Only the box is limited edition. The nail polishes are still currently available on the website. And I think as of filming this, there are still some collection boxes available. So if you want to go and pick up this really cute Bert box, see what I did there? Can you tell? It's q -Bert. I love it. And if you want to go pick that pick up this box, I will have a link down below, but let's just do a quick tour of this box. I mean, it is so pretty. We have our back, and it's time to have a sneak peek, shall we? Wow! Just shift into light mode. Oh, yes, indeed. Look at those gorgeous polishes. Now, these are kind of a light multi-chrome formula, so they kind of have a shift to it. But me personally, I think it is almost a cross between multi-chrome and the latest collection, which was the Winter Shimmers. So it's almost like a shimmering multi-chrome. But let us see our players, shall we? We have encryption key, wireless mode, light link, flash drive, and sunset simulation, which I cannot wait to try on. So without further ado, let's get swatching, shall we? Alrighty then, starting things off, we have a little troublemaker known as encryption key. And the reason I say troublemaker is if you have seen on Twitter lately, Christine posted a screenshot of, um, due to the name of this nail polish, Facebook ads would not allow this polish to be advertised because it thinks it is an actual encryption key and it goes against their, um, violations or, um, you know, for their ads. And it's just like cheap champagne and play rosé all over again where the name of the polish kind of gets it into a little bit of trouble. But apart from that, it is a gorgeous, goes from a kind of salmon-y red to a beautiful shimmering gold. You can see it's shifting right there. Ugh, I cannot wait to try it on. And as you can tell by my hands, I'm going to be swatching on light mode and dark mode to see how these nail polishes look. So without further ado, let's try it on, shall we? So after just one coat, here is how it looks on the naked nail. And after just one coat, here ha is how it looks like on a dark nail. Crazy to think that this is actually the same nail polish. I love it when polishes will change and look completely different just if they have light or dark underneath them. So for this hand, I'm just gonna stick with one coat. And for this one, I think I'm going to do about probably three coats so that it is no longer sheer. So let's see how it looks. So after three coats, here is what we look like. No longer sheer. And personally, I think it's almost like the nail is on fire. It's just from the red to the gold. And it is just simply stunning. Now, let's see what our next one looks like, shall we? Alrighty then. So up next, we have wireless mode, which is just, of course, a fantastic shade of blue. It shifts from bright blue to cobal cobalt to turquoise and even at some really extreme angles that you can see here on the corner it almost shifts to a light purple color. So definitely great for, I don't know, some time at the ocean or at the pool. I just see this as being a fun cool blue summer color. So let's see how it looks. So after just one coat, here is what wireless mode looks like over a light color, very sheer, 
kind of a sweet pearlescent kind of color, but over a dark color, wow, it is just, if it will unblur, there we go. It just looks really cool. Got that deep purple at angles, and then over a dark color, it has this really beautiful blue-green color, which unfortunately, it looks like the camera isn't quite picking up, but it is just stunning. So let's see what a good three coats will do for our light mode nail. So here we are after three coats and really depending on the light, you can see it shifting from the purple to the teal and sometimes even a little bit of a flash of almost a hot pink purple. So definitely a very cool color and such a unique formula. I wish that cameras could pick up all the different angles that it gets, but well, that's life. So. I don't know about you, but I think it's definitely time to try color number three. Up next, we have Light Link, which shifts from a teal to a kind of sea green, and it's just cool and fun. Like I said, I think all of these can go for a beachy kind of summer vibe, summer drinks, ocean, sun, sand. And this one definitely gives me oceany vibes, and I cannot wait to see especially what it looks like on my dark hand, but let's try it on, shall we? So here we have one coat of light link on my light mode hand, and on, I think I'll just call this night mode, on that dark color, it looks so different. It is just a, almost a stunning kind of pale, emerald green and it's amazing when you try something new something different or just the opposite how a nail polish can just change so let's add another couple of coats and see what it looks like at full opacity so now at full opacity here we have light link and i definitely think that with wireless mode that would make a really cool gradient going from the blue to the teal green and sea foam green. So very, very nice. Now let's see how our flash drive is doing. Now, if you wanna have some awesome nail art, don't forget to save it on your flash drive. So here we have the light shifting purple color where it goes from almost a Violet you can see on this side to almost a mauve on this side and then at some ex really extreme angles I've noticed some shifting of gold. You can kind of see it right there on the edge of the bottle and I am a sucker for a bright purple nail polish and I cannot wait to see how it looks. I feel like I've said that a lot in this video, but it's true. You know the drill, after just one coat, here is what our flash drive looks like on the Naked Light Mode nail. And there it is on Night Mode. Look at the difference. I am just going to christen this color Midnight Purple. And I think that would make a fantastic base for some galaxy nail art. Copyright me and my tea. JK. Anyway, now let's see what full opacity looks like. So three coats, full opacity, and I was just playing with the lights a bit, and what is that? Look at that. It just totally shifted to gold. And back to purple. And back to gold. I don't know. I think I could totally do this all day. If you want some hypnotic nails, then flash drive is definitely the color to do that. Cause, wow. So, last but certainly not least, we have Sunset Simulation. So let's see how it looks, shall we? Last but certainly not least, we have Sunset Simulation, which shifts from a kind of light rosy pink to a Bam, beautiful amber gold, just like a perfect sunset after a long day. And oh, 
I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm definitely going to say that this might just be my favorite, and I think it is a good light mode version of the multi-chrome Cats Evasion, which shifts from kind of a purpley pink to a deep gold. So without further ado, let's try it on, shall we? So even with just one coat, it actually looks surprisingly good. It doesn't look nearly as sheer as I thought it would. Maybe it's because it reflects the gold part of the shift so well, but it actually looks really, really nice. Now for night mode, dark mode, whatever mode we want to call this, here it is on the pinky, if the camera will focus. Ah, there we go. And there it is shifting, half of it, as you can see, is gold, and the other half is the deep pink, and it just looks so fantastic. And it's amazing how it makes the nail look so different after just one thin coat on a dark nail polish, and it just has such a deep jewel tone to it, which I absolutely love. So let's finish off our swatching with making our light mode nails fully opaque. So after three coats here it ha is how it looks. As you can see on the bottom, it's that soft, lovely pink. And then once it's in light, bam, it just shifts to that bright, astoundingly brilliant gold. And I just absolutely adore it. And it looks so fantastic. Now, a few tips for this kind of formula of nail polish. I highly recommend making sure that if not a smoothing base coat, maybe just a couple layers of a clear coat to make sure the basis of your nails is nice and smooth. Because if you have a couple of bumps, this type of formula of nail polish will definitely um, show it a lot more than most. And I can't stress this enough. Just put a clear coat, top coat, anything on top to seal in your nail art, make, keep it from getting dents and scratches in it, and it will just make your nails look so fabulous. So with all that swatching done, without further ado, I definitely think it is time for the mandatory narcissistic montage. So cue music. Well, everybody, what do you think? Do you prefer the light mode? Or do you prefer night mode over dark polish? Let me know down in the comments down below. Mm. And also, if you're interested, yes, this is the exact same mug that Christine used on lunch day. I will have it linked down below. And to celebrate Christine, I am drinking from David's Tea, O Canada. And to make it just a little bit sweeter, you just have to add some maple dust from Plum Deluxe. I do have a coupon for this down below also. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have all enjoyed seeing me unbox and swatch and review the brand new light mode collection from Hollow Taco. And that's all. If you're interested in checking out another one of my videos, you can go ahead and click right here. And if you are new, welcome to my channel and go ahead and click that subscribe button right there so that you never miss my videos ever again. Thank you so much for watching everybody and I will see you all later. Bye!